Hello, and welcome to the Bell Tower on 34th, the countdown checklist video for guest planners. One of the best ways to stay on top of event planning and make sure nothing slips through the cracks is to follow a checklist. We've put together one that will help, and sooner or later, either you or the client will need to complete the items mentioned here. Let's take a quick look at the to-dos we've compiled for you. Number one, please encourage the client to set aside time to familiarize themselves with the Bell Tower on 34th event contract. That process should include carefully reviewing the terms in our client agreement, which can be found at thebelltoweron34th.com backslash terms. Next, the client needs to designate a single point of contact. That will be the one person, either the client or someone the client specifies in writing, who interacts with the bell tower on 34th throughout an event. Now this is the only person who can convey decisions about an event to the bell tower on 34th. We strongly encourage you to talk with the client about rescheduling insurance. The Bell Tower on 34th allows customers to reschedule their event up to two weeks before their reserved date, but they will be responsible for a rebooking fee. However, they can cut that fee in half by purchasing rescheduling insurance from the Bell Tower on 34th when they sign with us. The client's Bell Tower on 34th representative will be happy to provide details. Another to do. Please remind the client to log into the Bell Tower on 34th Customer Hub and start learning their way around. The Customer Hub makes it easy to manage the moving parts of an event, from making payments to scheduling on-site tastings. To get your client started, please encourage them to ask the Bell Tower event producer assigned to their event to schedule a screen share orientation with them. Next on your countdown checklist, please show us a sample invitation before the full invitation order is printed. It's important to ensure that the start times on the invitation line up with what's in our agreement. Here's another to-do that should be done early, finalizing food selections. Arranging their tasting as soon as possible will go a long way towards minimizing the stress of planning their event. Final food selections should be submitted to us at least 45 days in advance. Once the food selections are made, we ask that you show us a sample menu card before printing. Just like the invitation times, we want to make sure the menu selections line up with our agreement. The client's plan to dues should also incorporate scheduled payments. The 90-day payment, the payment due three months before the event, must be no less than half of the customer's balance. As we move closer to the event day, the client will need to finalize their final floor plan using the format provided in the Customer Hub. Around this time, we also will need to get a signature or an email from the client giving us final approval for the event timeline. Next, please ask the client to be prepared to sign and submit their final event selections. These selections will include all food and beverages, along with any additional items or services they plan to obtain from the Bell Tower on 34th. Let's move on to vendor selection. As these selections are made, we would like their names and contact information to be entered into the Bell Tower Customer Hub in the vendor selection area. We also require vendors to provide us with a certificate of liability at least 10 days before the event. Please ask your client to block out time to attend their final details meeting. This meeting needs to take place no less than two to three weeks before the event. It's the client's opportunity to discuss all of the relevant details of their event. We ask customers to bring their signed final floor plan, timeline, and menu. Next, it's important to make sure the client will meet their minimum spend requirement for their ballroom. Their minimum spend is specified in their client agreement and can be applied to food, beverages, services, and upgrades from the Bell Tower on 34th. Continuing with the countdown list, final payment is due 30 days before the event. If the payment is late, we strictly enforce the $35 per day late fee. Not only that, we lock the client's account when payments are missed. When the client makes that 30-day payment, they'll also need to give us their final guest count. Once the event is 30 days away, the client won't be able to lower their guest count with us. 
we encourage clients to estimate their guest count on the low side when they reach their 30-day deadline. If they need to increase their total in the coming weeks, we can accept payment to cover the additional expenses. If necessary, please ask the client to be prepared to make supplemental payments. Please keep in mind that we do not accept checks or e-checks within two weeks of the event. And finally, if the client plans to have their wedding ceremony at the Bell Tower on 34th, please remind them to turn in their ceremony order. We always encourage clients to create a list of the wedding party members, arrange the processional order, and provide a copy to the Bell Tower on 34th's event producer. You've been watching the Bell Tower on 34th countdown checklist video. The Bell Tower on 34th is looking forward to working with you and delivering an excellent event that no one will ever forget.